Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're having a look at the Pirat Triple Hop clocking in at 10.5% ABV. This is of course brewed by Brovery van Steenberg. So Pirat Triple Hop is, oh it's in a Belgian or French I should say, here we go. Pirat Triple Hop is a palate beer with the distinct character of hops achieved by adding four types of hops to the brewing process. Triple Hop. Four hops. Uh, yeah, that, that's it, really. Fridge Spoke Mill Bottle. Best for is the 11th of September 2021. And does it actually go into detail about what the hops are in this? Don't believe it does. No, doesn't say what hops. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, I've been getting back. Well, not getting back into because I was never, unfortunately, never really into Belgian beers. But I've been having a few more recently. Uh, bought bought a box. Um, it's called like a Belgian beer box from Lidl. Um, in the tail end of November, start of December and uh, I've had a few of the bottles, I've reviewed a couple already I'm not sure if I'll upload them in order of recording but uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying them so far so yeah, beautifully presented nice crown on there as well so we'll get this bumper with a bottle opener I mean with a lighter because I don't have a bottle opener to hand, unfortunately We'll use this instead and just destroy the bottle cup, bottle tap. I always say bottle cup. It's, it, it's like a dyslexic attempt at saying bottle cap and bottle top. Anyway, God, that was so much more work than it should have been. Just using the plain glass for this one. Don't know if I should have chilled this down, but it's pretty much just straight out of the cabinet. Been on a few beers today. God, that glass is dirty. Not as dirty as your mum, though. Anyway, there we are. So, beer in a glass, then, and uh, it's a lovely sort of coppery amber colour. Um, yeah, pretty much you can see through that. Nice levels of carbonation there. The uh, bubbles hanging onto the sides haven't gone. So, yeah, definitely a dirty glass. But, yeah, copper. Nice looking beer. Two figures worth for Whitehead. Let's see what we get in the nose. Really nothing on the nose. 10.5%. So a sessioner. And my hair is really fucking pissed me off today. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, it's just bready slightly biscuity that's all I'm getting really on the nose really quite quite a bland smelling beer might be because the head might be um, blocking the beer coming out and um, it might just need to breathe in the glass a little bit it's like very subtle just like generic sort of apple aroma coming through anyway Let's see if it tastes a little bit more exciting. Cheers. Well, it's got a lot more flavour than the aroma, but it's... Not a fan. Just going to come right out and say it. I am not a fan of this beer. It's almost reminded me of those god awful <coughs> Mikula IBU beers that I had in can. You know, the zero, one, 1000, and then 3000. You get like the sweet alcohol flavour. Now, I had the, the normal Pirat, uh, funny enough, as I was having a bath the other night, and that was just a lovely, delicate, but flavoursome um, beer. 
this just it's really quite harsh it's quite clawing and drying on the back end as well there's a little bit of like a metallic sort of flavor let's give it another taste On the intake, it's really nice. It's like nice, bready, slightly biscuity. But then as the beer's about to go down the back of your throat, you get that boost of flavour. Oh, it's not nice. I don't like this. I really don't like this. It's like a very gentle sweetness to it. A little bit of spiciness. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't want to drink the rest of this. At that ABV as well. It tastes stronger than that. And here's me complaining about. You know. When you don't taste the alcohol. In like Imperial Stouts. And you know triple IPAs and stuff. And now you taste the alcohol. You still end up moaning. Do you know what I mean? It's. I'm just not a fan of this. Um, it's just not doing anything for me. It really, really isn't. No, I don't like that. I really don't. I'm sorry. Uh, the regular Pirat is lovely. And the... the was it the 9000, the quadruple, which I've got another bottle of, which I'm going to be saving for actually uh, drinking on Christmas Day. That's gorgeous, that beer, that quad. But this is just, it's it's unpleasant. Um, it's not like unpleasant as if it's been, you know, badly brewed or anything like that, far from it. Um, it's just the flavour profile itself. I am just really, really not a fan. So, I'm, I, I mean, I could easily drink it. Do you know what I mean? But I've come to that realisation where there's nothing wrong with pouring a beer away that you're not really enjoying. Do you know what I mean? Um, you shouldn't feel like the necessity to like finish every beer but then i say that about oh i don't like to drink i don't like i don't need to review every beer that i drink pretty much every beer i've drank today i've reviewed do you know what i mean but this it just seems like such a shame to throw it away do you know what i mean but oh it's when you start swallow i don't like it really don't like it um, so yeah, in terms of a rating then on uh, the Pirate Triple Hop, uh, I'm going to give it 4 out of 10. It's not like ugh, spit out and that sort of thing, but in context of what I've been drinking same, I'm a fair few beers in, all I'm going to get, the only effect I'm really going to get off this is intoxication and then hangover city on Christmas day it's not going to deter me from you know drinking other beers tonight of course therefore completely disregarding what I've just said about hangover city but yeah are you like that with beers or do you even if you don't like them do you drink all of them are you a fan of this am i completely missing the point of it um i didn't go into this with the impression of like you know the duvel triple hop which is that specifies you know specific seasonal hop i knew it wasn't going to be like that i knew that they've just you know upped the uh the hop profile on it but even that it's just i don't like it so yeah for Four and a half out of ten, I'm going to give it. Um, if this was the first beer of the day, I'd finish it. Do you know what I mean? But in the context of my drinking pattern this evening, who the fuck puts that into consideration in a review? I don't know. I mean, I had this today. Oh, 
watchers fall on the floor and that was beautiful so i'm gonna still enjoy um another couple of the belgian beers that i got in the box so i still think the box is well worth it and uh, if you're a fan of this beer that's completely fine it's just <clears throat> it's not doing anything for me really and uh, i'd just rather opt for the regular pirat or go for the uh, pirat 9000 i think it's 9000 i've said i've referred to that beer as that for the last couple of reviews i don't know if i'm correct or not but yeah just repeat myself now if you've tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below is it going to stop you drinking from the from the brewery no is it going to stop my little exploration into belgian beers no but um, at this point, I don't want to finish it, and uh, I'm just going to pour it away. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't feel pressured to finish every beer that you have. I'm tasting it like I'm trying to, you know, find uh, an excuse to, to not throw it away. But no, I'm going to stick to me guns. Anyway, God, I'm starting to get bunged up. Thank you guys for watching. If I've completely missed the mark, feel free to send hate my way. But do remember, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. And uh, yeah, what's some of your favourite Belgian beers? And are you a fan of this? Blah 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 blah